Join Coffee Bar Tales on the Morning Crossfire weekdays 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. only on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Live from the heart of Victoria Island, you're listening to your number one station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. This is Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Okay, it's the morning crossfire right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. My name is Kofi Bartels. It's going to be you uh, join us this morning. As earlier advertised, uh, we have uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture, Lagos State, uh, with us on the program this morning. Of course, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had um, a conversation with the Lagos State Government, uh, a discount market, a uh, food market, uh, probably called Onjeko, and um, she's going to be talking about it and uh, telling us exactly what uh, the government is doing. Uh, it's a, basically a right of reply and basically trying to find out what is happening in the sector in Lagos. And I must say the Commissioner for Agri is a, is, a, is a hardworking commissioner. I mean, she's uh, always on the move, um, if you follow her uh, like I do. She is uh, Miss Abisola Olushaya. Um, she's a first female and a two-time or two-term commissioner for agriculture in Lagos State. Um, she's the youngest in the history of the Lagos establishment since uh, 1967, uh, in her words, um, you know. Now, according to Lagos State Government website, she was first appointed a special advisor uh, to Lagos State Governor on agriculture in August 2019, uh, due to her knowledge of the agri ecosystem and strategies on food uh, security. In November 2020, she was made commissioner for agriculture and became the first female to take up the role in the ministry in its 56 years of existence. Um, uh, she's got a long list of accomplishments and achievements in the Ministry of Agri. For instance, she uh, led the development of the business operating model for Lagos uh, Rice Mill uh, and saw the project to 90% completion levels as of December 2021 from a sort of point of 15% uh, that she made it in October 2019. Uh, she successfully led the launch of the Lagos State 5 year Agriculture and the food systems roadmap uh, for the first of its kind uh, in Nigeria, tailored tail towards the uh, private sector investment community, uh, multilateral agencies, and sovereign states. I was talking about the economic community. Um, she also launched the Eco Agri or Agro Mechanization Scheme, an agriculture production production enabling platform for farmers to aid land clearing and preparation activities, uh, pioneering a collaboration with the Tractor on the Go, TOG, which is a tractor hailing application which farmers can uh, subscribe to and utilize with a view towards transparency in asset management, etc. Um, there's a lot to talk about, so much to talk about here, um, but we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, Madam, good morning to you. Good to have you on the program. Okay, please uh, uh, enable your audio. Sorry about that. Enable your audio. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Yes, good to have you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, happy holidays uh, and compliments of the season to you. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, just run us through the thinking behind uh, the setting up of this Lagos uh, uh, food discount market, probably called Onjeko. Yeah, so um, the Onjeko food discount market as um, initiated by Mr. Governor um that was uh, February um, when he had done the song Lu Speaks. Um, it was actually one of the many initiatives that he had mentioned around um, bringing some level of comfort to the people. So um, under the umbrella of Eco Cares as um, the umbrella framework for initiatives covering transportation, food, um, health, um, education, um, this uh, actually features as one of the many things that he's doing and uh, will be doing um, from, let's say, the month of March when we kicked off and then uh, subsequent months down the line. 
Uh, for the OJ, it's actually three pronged. Um, the and when I say three pronged, you have the staple foods uh, distribution, uh, which would be the sharing of food items for free, particularly rice, beans, and curry. Mm -hmm. Um, that has not yet kicked off because we are still in the process of aggregation and uh, packaging. And the second one is the discount market, which uh, takes place on Sundays and which uh, we have commenced on statewide in each of the local governments, um, as well as in the Alausa Secretariat. And the third one is the free meal initiative, meaning uh, 1,000 for 1 million. So 1 million free meals is what we'll be um, planning for, um, for negotiations. And the reasons for those three is that one of the three would reach um, as many individuals as possible. For someone who gets a free meal, um, there's a categorization for that kind of person. For someone else who qualifies to get a free staple food pack, uh, that person falls into another economic bracket. And for someone who is going to participate or get a 25% discount from the discount market, that person also fits into a particular um, economic class. So across board, you'll be talking about a reach of well over, um, let's say roughly about 2 million to 2.5 million negotiations across board. Um, so that is what Onjeco is all about. And the discount market is just one of the three initiatives um, for food for Onjeco. Quite interesting. Uh, uh, so, so let's look at the, 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 the uh, before we talk about discount market, when will the others kick in, um, the sharing of staple food items for free and then the free meal initiative? I, I'm aware that um, the palliatives uh, reeled out by the Lagos State Government uh, uh, following the removal of subsidy, you had some food items being shared through the CDCs uh, or the yes. CDS. So, so is, that, is that it or this is a different and new one? that we expect to kick off in the future? No, this is a new one. So the one we had done, had kicked off last year. That was, a, we had done one from September up until January of this year. Mm -hmm. And then we are doing another one, uh, which maybe should commence within the next two weeks. Um, buying food in bulk, packaging it into smaller SKs, it's actually um, a lot of effort. It takes a lot of effort, and I mean, you have to weigh you have to make sure that the packaging is done right so that you reduce as much wastage as possible, which is why I have said that we should kick off the distribution within the next two weeks. I mean, it's easy for us to just distribute food in bulk, the way we procure it. But we also know that in terms of quality of packaging is not as good. And we'll have incidences of a lot of, a, a lot of burst bags. Yeah. So for that reason, we try as much as possible to make sure that uh, we repack package and you know just to make sure that people get it within you know um or should i say uh get it in a dignified manner all right all right interesting um so yes. so for the um the 25 percent discount um or before that the free meal initiative one million free meals and uh, when, when is that expected to kick off yeah so the thing is we do not so running this simultaneously has not been um it will not be an easy fit. So if you see, for instance, running the discount market, in as much as um, it takes place every Sunday, we know what we go through in trying to reconcile accounts, in trying to make sure all vendors get their monies back, in also trying to make sure that every single person involved in the process is paid. So it takes a bit of a time. So once we run a discount market on Sunday, Everyone comes to the office on Monday to do a reconciliation. Between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we get to pay vendors. By Thursday, there's another level of preparation towards what is going to happen on Sunday. So round the clock, everyone is just working just to make sure that the discount market is seen as effortless, let me put it that way. Mm. So for that reason also, in the food palliative distribution, that also has its own nuances in as much as the distribution most of it will be routed through the cdc cda route um uh, network regardless there's still a level of monitoring that has to go into it which will mean a lot of manpower has to be dedicated to ensuring that it goes to the right people to the right homes and as such you would see that we need to deploy 
far more people than we have ever done before, yeah. just to make sure that this is properly um, implemented. So for that reason, it's best we break it also, and also for us to see truly where these food items are going into. You can imagine running a food discount market, you're running a palliative distribution simultaneously. A point in time will come where if the two should merge, in a way, you may not even be able to decipher properly what the government is doing. So for us also to be able to account ourselves properly to the public, we feel it's best as we move from one, right. then we move in to the other. And right. the good thing also is that the phasing of it is also systemic in the sense that the discount market is tailored more towards, I want to make food a bit more affordable by giving a discount on it based on the pricing. Food prices jumped high or skyrocketed as a result of several factors. And even the forex uh, instability was part of it. Yeah. In as much as this foods we're even talking about, a lot of them are local, but we also know what the impact of the exchange rate uh, fluctuation yeah. did to the prices. Now that the exchange rate also has come down to some level, right. in as much as you would expect food prices to come down immediately, but you can see that slowly they have started to come down. So okay. the timing for the discount market also fits properly into right. the timing for when it should be implemented. And once that also we see more price stability, then we move on to the food palliative distribution. And once that also kicks off properly to the level where we see a lot of food going into the houses, we kick off with a framing initiative as well. Very, very understandable that you you can't do everything at the same time. You have to be able to take it in phases, you know, uh, yes. a timeline and all that. that that's, that's good. That's good. These are noble initiatives. Um, very noble. And I think it's a template that other states can can emulate. You know, so we want to say to you and to the governor, well done uh, for, you know, coming up with such an initiative, you know, for coming up with such an initiative. Um, um, so let's talk about the discount market. H how is it meant to work? What is the modus operandi? Um, uh, apart from the training, just give us a, uh, a walkthrough of how it's meant, to, it's meant to operate. Okay, so the discount market it features across 57 local governments. In addition, we have one extra location in Lekki phase one, obviously uh, making 58. Then we have Alausa uh, making 59. Um, so you are actually having it, uh, you know, in 59 locations, including the Mushin Fresh Food Hub. Um, and the idea around this is uh, there are specific food items where a discount of 25% is purchased. I don't think there's any home in Nigeria where rice is not eating gari, beans, and obviously everyone eats stew or makes some form of stew. So you have your tomato, pepper, onions, and uh, tatashi. And then you also now have your bread and egg, which is a key staple also in most homes. So these specific food items, we identify them as what would cut across majority of Lagosians, and as such, we felt that it was best to implement the discount on these um, particular food items. And we also have specific sizes, uh, five kilo rice, five kilo beans, five kilo gari, one crate of eggs, one loaf of bread, um, and then you have uh, two kilos of tomatoes, one kilo of onions, tatashe, and uh, rudo. So these are the items and these are the sizes on which the discount is to be offered. Now, the way it's running, and we've seen it um, be successful, is to get vendors locally in each area to bring these items to a specified location. And we have used mostly schools, public schools, Lagos State Public Schools, because of the space and um, the security around um, the school location. And these vendors come in there, display the items, now, we also give specific quantity of items that they have to bring in there. So I have a cap on the discount to be given per location for each Sunday because there's a budget at work in this space. And as such, um, we print vouchers. These vouchers are to tally with the quantity of food items to be brought in. Now, in each location, I also have a 15-man team to oversee the operations. I have a market leader who is usually a level 17 civil servant or level 16 deputy director or assistant director or a level 15. And I have seven other, six other officers 
work with this bracket leader making seven. In addition, I have one accountant from the civil service and I have an auditor as well. The job of the auditor and the accountant is to ensure that whatever items the vendors bring in, they are properly accounted for. Also, the vouchers are properly accounted for. Um, there are several um, template forms that have to be filled out for us to ascertain that these are the quantities that have been brought in and the vendors also sign off. And also, um, making nine uh, civil servants in total. Then I have four youth volunteers from the National Youth Council of Nigeria, Lagos chapter, making 13. Then I have the um, head of department at Greek for that mm -hmm. local government and the supervisor for at Greek for that local government, making 15. So with this 15-man team, the location is supposed to run seamlessly. In addition, I have close to 50 security personnel made up of the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Corps, as well as the police, um, to secure and to help make sure that, that there is order. And aside that, I have Loma to help with cleanup. And I have, um, in some locations, I have Lasambos for emergencies, and um, I have um, I have Lasambos and I have uh, Lajesk. So these are the uh, personnel that I have in each location working to ensure that we have a hitch free day. Um, and once the um, gates are open for people to come in to procure or to buy, uh, people must buy their vouchers, um, pay, obviously using a payment solutions platform. The reason also for the utilization of a payment solution platform as opposed to buying on cash is for us to be able to account properly for the 25% discount that we are giving. Okay. We know that in the beginning we had hitches, but that is also because it was the first time we were going that route. It would have been so easy to just say, hey, we collect cash. But we know that we must account properly also for the discounts to be given. And as such, we had run the route of payment solution platforms. Okay, that, that's um, the, the Kauri card. So once you pay, that is not, I have almost 11 payment solution platforms. I have Hydrogen, I have Providos Bank, I have Sterling Bank, I have Palm Pay, I have Opay, I have Money Point, I have Traction, I have Master, Money Master, I have Momo. Okay. So it's not just, so I have, even Carry is no longer working on this. So I have all of these other payment solution platforms that have been working with us and it's been huge free as much as right. possible. Okay. Now, what people should also understand is so long as you're working with technology, um, there will be hitches here and there. I'm sure you've been to a few supermarkets where you have tried to pay and maybe there has been a network failure. Okay. So that is bound to happen and that is not within our... Um, Your power. It's not within our, power, it's, it's not within our control, control or sphere of influence. So that's why we have prepared as much as possible yeah. to have as many as 11 yeah. of these payment solution platforms work for or work with us. So in each location, you have a minimum of eight of them such that if one network fails, yeah. you have another. And the payment solution providers also, they have been very, very good working with us, collaborating with us just to ensure that we run this All up. Right ground as seamlessly as possible mm. interesting you, you've, you've said a lot uh, we want to go for a commercial break uh, we'll be right back after this we'll talk some more on this uh, echo uh, government okay. discount market please stay with us so we'll be right back on the morning class okay Book your flights on the Access More app and get 20,000 Naira for shopping. Valid from March the 27th to April the 10th, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. This is an infomercial, an infomercial. Okay, it's still the morning crossfire. Uh, thanks uh, for listening to that message. We'll go for our main commercial break in a matter of uh, uh, seconds. But uh, for those of you joining us, uh, we have as guests on the morning crossfire, uh, Ms. Abisola Olusoya. She is the Commissioner for Agriculture, Lagos State. Um, uh, and of course, uh, he had to talk about the Lagos State government efforts uh, to uh, uh, ensure that uh, Lagosians are taken care of as far as. Um, uh, the economy is concerned and difficulties with uh, feeding and providing for their families with the uh, ONJ Eco initiative, which the commissioner says is three-pronged. Um, sharing of staple food items for free, the 25% discount market. Uh, we also have um, uh, the free meal initiative. But what they're doing right now 
is the uh, 25% discount market, which is a beginning. Uh, they'll get to the other ones as time goes on. Um, so your thoughts are welcome. When we come back from the break, the commercial break, um, I'll ask the commissioner some more questions, but I'd, we'd like to hear from you. All right, so please uh, store our number, 0201 uh, 0201-465-7190. 0201-465-7190. We know there have been some complaints from uh, some of the beneficiaries out there who uh, have said, you know what, uh, we feel government can do this better or do that better. Uh, Madam Commissioner, I know you're aware of that. You've addressed some of those already. Um, so <laughs> almost taking the wind out of my sail, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and uh, bring some of those questions to you. So those of you listening, um, please stay with us after this break. Just five minutes. We'll be back to take your calls, your questions, and your contributions. My name is Kofi Bartels, and you're listening to The Morning Crossfire. That's your day and have a good time. He won't cream out. Oh, where you need to have the break time. So he won't cream out. He won't see Papa Garita. He won't cream out. Cream out. He won't cream out. He does of trading himself. James, I hello. Susan, I beg. <laughs> Show you the wine mini. For where? You will no longer depend solely on your salary. So you people trade and don't carry us along in this office, Abby. Jerry, now you they talk like this. Who doesn't want an extra stream of income? But I'm still looking for better trading conditions, I beg. Fast execution of my trades and possibly an account where swap. No go carry all my profits where I don't know. Guy, hfm.com. For me, I wouldn't mind better spreads at all. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to be able to make withdrawals in a flash. All we want is transparency and great customer service. Guys, I said hfm.com. Which, Which one is, is hfm.com HFM. again? again? Switch to HFM today to enjoy ultra-fast execution, 1 to 2,000 leverage, tight spreads, swap-free, and more. Guy, show us the way now. Wait, oh, are you sure deposits and withdrawals are sharp, sharp? I said hfm.com. Visit www.hfm.com. HFM, online trading at its finest. Adron Homes don't make life better for you and me. With the better Easter package. Adron Easter better, better life offer. offer. Yes, so time don't come where you and me go become landlord. With Adron Easter better life offer, you go enjoy 30 to 40% discount on any land where you buy this season. With as low as 50,000 naira to 3 million naira initial deposit and spread balance between 24 to 36 months. No be holy that all. Oh. You go enjoy many boku boku gifts like turkey, bag of rice, washing machine, smart TV, big cow, and many more. Terms and condition day oh. Our estate day for Lagos, Ogun, Oshun, Ekiti, Oyo, Abuja, Nasarawa, Niger, and Joss. You fit also subscribe for daily payment plan. For more Tori, call this number 080 or 080 65 Hydron Homes. Building cities, communities, and homes. The holy month of Ramadan is upon us. As we embark in this journey, let's not forget to show love through sharing. Stay ahead with Dairy Power from Sahur to Iftar. Join us every Monday to Friday as we explore the spiritual and physical benefits of the month. The show comes with exciting recipes that will make your Sahur and Iftar memorable. Catch us on our YouTube page, Holandia Dairy Nigeria. This Ramadan, stay ahead with Dairy Power. Ramadan Mubarak from Holandia. Hmm, anywhere Clara enter like this, people must give her compliment. Hmm, Clara. <laughs> this your saint makes sense so. <laughs> Now, because I they use Wazobia. Anywhere Johnny enters, eh, people must come out cap for him. Johnny. Johnny. Ah, ah. As you enter like this, eh, everywhere job begins to smell nice. Which kind of perfume you they use? <laughs> now, Wazobia perfume, oh. Eh? Yes, sir. Wazobia, now the correct scent. We get quality. It they last long. And it they give man and woman confidence. Any day, anywhere. For authentic scent, we the indigenous. Make you choose Wazobia. It is available in perfume and body spray. You fit get them for stores, supermarkets, and open markets. It also available on top Jumia. Remember, no be only how you take dress. Now also how you take smell. Wazobia. Correct scent for correct people. Attention, Lagos! 
Get ready for the ultimate celebration at the Family Fun Fiesta edition of the Run for the Future Marathon. On the 27th of April, 2024, join us at the Muriokuala Park in Victoria Island for a day packed with excitement, fitness, and family fun. Whether you're a seasoned runner or just want to join in the fun, this event is for everyone. Plus, it's ARM's 30th anniversary. So what are you waiting for? Register now at rftf.arm.com.ng. That's rftf.arm.com.ng. ARM, invested in your tomorrow. You are welcome to my world. Listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Live from the heart of Victoria Island, you're listening to your number one station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Lagos, welcome back. It's still the Morning Crossfire right here at 99.3 Nigeria Info. My name is Kofi Bartels discussing still uh, the Lagos State Government uh, discount market, which is a part of the OJ Co initiative uh, put together by His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State. Uh, Baba Jide Olu Shola Somolu. Our guest this morning is uh, Mr. Bisola. Uh, Oh, Lusanya, the Honorable Commissioner of Agriculture, Lagos State, I did say um, uh, she's quite a hard worker. I, I follow you, Madam, quite a lot, and you're always on the move. Uh, you're one of those commissioners who have been quite visible, and I must commend you for the work you're doing. Um, uh, for those who want to call in, please feel free to call the number 02 465 uh, 02 uh, nine zero. This program by the Lagos State Government, like you've had the commissioner say, is for the people of Lagos State, both um, uh, indigents and non-indigents. But I believe that uh, initiative is not, uh, you don't segregate as to who is an indigent or not, both civil servants and non-civil servants. Am I correct? Okay, we have a, a bit of a network challenge with you. I think your, your internet is, uh, as uh, the connection is not no. are, are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, yes, better. Yeah. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. So, so the, yes. the, the beneficiary is any segregation as per uh, indigenous, non indigenous, civil servants, non civil servants, uh, APC members, non APC members? Um, I don't. Do you discriminate in a market? Have... <laughs> we don't ask for ID cards, we don't ask for anything uh -huh. for you to come in to buy. So. There's no segregation. There's no bias whatsoever. We have vendors that are AUSA. We have vendors who are... We have vendors of all tribes and from all across Nigeria. So that already speaks to what we stand for as Lagos. We are the melting pot of Nigeria. So we don't do that. Okay. Your, your, your connection isn't isn't too clear. I think it's affecting, affecting the view. I don't know if it's something that can okay. happen about it. Yes, it's, it's gone a bit poor. Okay. Uh, let, let's take a call um, uh, right here. 99.3, good morning. Are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, welcome. Your name and uh, contribution, please. My name is uh, Abe. I'm calling from Ikeja. All right, Abe. Good to hear from you. So, I have like an issue. I was at the Lagos market in the school last week. So, when I gave the person my card, Somehow, my account got debited more than what I paid for. Mm -hmm. And then when I complained, the guy gave me a number and said I should call. Mm -hmm. Now, they're calling him. He has refused to speak. And now, I don't know what else to do. Okay, he gave you a number to call. Um, yes. st stay with me. Uh, uh, Honorable Commissioner, what, what do you say to that? 
Jordi. Okay, so if it has been debited twice, for each of the payment solution providers that we also work with, they give us um, one minimum, one member of their staff to work with us. And part of that reason also was so that we could rectify if there was any issue as such. Now, like I said, in each location, you have a market leader who wears a red colored t-shirt. Everyone identifies that person as the market leader. And if there's anything at all that should happen, apart from maybe talking to the person whom the issue was directly related to, the market leader should also have been informed. I don't have issues from a lot of locations around this. Maybe for day one, we did, but people were giving things back in cases where this had happened. And I have not received any complaint whatsoever of this. But if he can mention the location again, I know every market leader for every location, so the person can be called quickly, and there can be a rectification to that. Uh, are they, which which location? Which he the said market? he was in Ikeja. It was at Tokumbo Ali Primary School here in Ikeja. Tokumbo Ali Primary School in Ikeja. Okay, that was that's um at um yeah that's Tony off Tony yes, Street, Tony, Allen. Yes. Off Tony Street, up maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, so madam, is there any other thing you want to say to Ade before he goes? Okay. Um, okay, so if he can just also provide us with his number, obviously he cannot make I can get this information. We will rectify it immediately after verifying with the market leader that this is the Okay, okay. Happened. And then his money... Um, we had worked with. Okay, okay. Um, but but I, I think we can say this is a, an issue to do probably the the payment service provider. Um, um, is that correct? Am I correct to say that? Sorry, what did you say? I think, uh, can we say this is a, an issue to do with probably, probably the payment service provider? Uh, they will need to look into that. Of course, it will be, of course, it will be a network issue. That's what I'm saying, like, when we identify those problems as well and speak about them, mm. let's also be very, very unbiased mm. this happens you go to a store you try to pay you could be debited twice it no. does happen okay now because it happens under onj co is not the government taking the money the monies are going back to the vendors we're only working with payment solution providers for us to keep ourselves accountable so when this does happen and it will happen because you're utilizing technology we apologize for that and that's why i'm saying i also get to the bottom of it we must confirm we must verify that this indeed happened and whether the money has been refunded or not. All right. And if not, the solution provider will also help us out in defining the issue. Okay. reason I had to reiterate that was so that, uh, you know, the, the view is not created or impression that Lagos State Government will give him back his money. It's just mediating between um, the, the... No, it's, it's going to be through the payment solution platform, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Yes, uh, 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 let, let me let me let us just go straight to the elephant in the room. The the twenty five percent discount uh, complaints are from some of the beneficiaries that the, the items are not at twenty five percent discount when you look at what uh, is uh, obtainable in the normal market. What, what's your response to that? So, let's say for week one, which was the pilot scheme, what we had tried to do, and if you recollect, we had um, put across a unified price point for each of those products. I remember we had started with um, rice, five kilo rice at 7,100. Uh, we had kicked off with uh, bread at 1,000 Naira, eggs at 3,6. Uh, tomatoes, I think even tomatoes back then was at about 1,200 or so. We worked with a unified price point because we wanted Number one, to help the discount market to, you know, help with stabilization of pricing and also for us to be able to give proper checks and balances around how the discounts were also being given. The feedback we received from week one was in some areas, the prices were fantastic because the prices at which people were buying in their own market in those areas was even much higher. 
On the other hand, in some areas, the prices were seen as too high compared to what the people bought at, which is why we changed strategy because we are also very adaptable and we take feedback and we take lessons and, you know, do a quick turnaround. From week two, the mandate was rather than centralizing price points and working with a few vendors with Oh my, um, the network has interrupted again. Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> Madam Commissioner, can you hear me? Okay. Produ, we work with vendors from Sabo Market. Can you hear me? From Ikorodu, we work with vendors from Sabo Market. And I'm just using that as an example. Any mark, any local government close to Mile 12, we work with Mile 12 vendors. Okay, Madam Commissioner, the, the network is, is sort of poor. I don't know if you can you can log out and log in. We work with vendors from Ileko for um, areas close to the full market. Okay, Madam, I don't know if, if you can log out work in and, lo and log in. discount market. Okay, com Madam Commissioner, I, I I think you should log out and log in again, um, so that we can we can see if it will be better because we're losing you. Okay, so we're going to do that, and because we have to get to the heart of the matter, which is um why um we're having complaints of um of uh the beneficiaries buying above 25 percent discount you know it's very important um so so let's hope we get the commissioner back on uh we'll take some calls while she's she's trying to rejoin 99.3 good morning hello good morning kofi back to the anna uh, thank you you always get me your name and well, contribution, uh, please. Yes, my name is Godwin, calling from Loshoro Lapwe. Godwin, good morning. Good morning. And a happy birthday to Uncle Jimmy and longest of life for him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, with our great guest, the lady with you, I want to personally appreciate his background and the very detailed process of uh, handling that. And I wish if other people in governance should follow that kind of constraint and do things with due diligence, I think it would have been taking down the benefit of whatever to the citizens. My question there is this. Sometimes they go, the former president and even the current president all that, that the grains and whatever should be released from the salon. And I could remember the former president, the heavy, whether it was a stone, they gathered together, used something to cover it and take it to, I mean, uh, take it to be something else that we are for Nigeria. Up to now, we have not seen that taking down to anywhere within right. the ordinary environment. Okay, that's Lagos, so Lagos State, right? are we right? getting that from the government? Okay, okay. That, that's, a, that's a very uh, good question. I'll put it to her uh, along the line. Thank you very much, Godwin from Los Los uh with that, writing your question down. 99.3, good morning. Good morning, Kofi. Yes, welcome. Your name and contribution, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I think we have the Honorable Commissioner back. Uh, with us, so I, I have to let you go so we can quickly proceed. I'll, I'll pick some more calls later. Yeah, so, so madam, you were saying that um, uh, in the first week of um, the implementation of this uh, 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 legal state discount market, you realized that you were getting the 25 percent, you know, difference in some parts of legal state, but in other parts, the food there was so cheap that the 25 percent margin was reduced. So, have you been able to, you know, modify the the program to be able to reflect 25 percent? Uh, across board yeah so not that there was no 25 percent reflection across board i mean we are not the ones selling the food we don't own the food we are working with vendors who sell food for them to bring the food items to a location to sell and we effect a 25 percent discount so to say whether we were truly giving it or not that is not a that is not a factual statement. The twenty five percent is still being given across, but it was just a function of 
are the vendors bringing the right price points to a particular area, which is why I said for week two, we re-strategized to get local vendors. So if in your area you are buying bread at say, or you are buying tomato, one kilo, at say 1,200, we'll get a vendor who sells at that price or even lower to be the one to participate in the discount market so that by the time we give the 25% discount, you are getting your tomato at a cheap price of say 900 naira. If in that same week in Korodu, for instance, tomato is being sold normally in any market at 900, we'll get a vendor who is selling at 900 in that market, in that discount market, we effect the 25% discount and the person can get maybe the tomato for 600 naira. So what it means or what it reflects is the price point is not the same across Lagos, but we would effect the 25% discount on the prevailing market rate in that area. Like I said, for week one, in a lot of the places, the price point which we had tried to unify, it worked in some locations because they felt that what we had brought was actually cheaper than what they would otherwise buy. On the other hand, some locations felt the prices were too high. And as such, we readjusted, and I don't think we've had issues since then. Okay. So are you saying that uh, uh, as we speak, um, uh, you know, Lagosians are enjoying at least 25% discount uh, in, in reality on all food prices uh, or items in, at, the, at the discount market? Uh, if we go to the market, yes. we, we won't have any complaints of it. Of oh, uh, it's not up to twenty five percent, or it's even expensive, or more than what we buy at the normal market. We won't have those complaints anymore. So this is the thing: you have the freedom of choice to walk into an Onje Eco discount market. If you feel the price point at which you buy is lower than what is obtainable at the discount market, you are not forced to buy. Why would you come there to want to buy items when you can get it cheaper? In your respective markets so it's not a do or die affair we will do our best to get vendors locally that can give us the prevailing market price point now whether it works for you and it doesn't work for me is something that i cannot control all of us have different haggling prowess your negotiation skills might be different from mine when you enter into a free market you have the right to haggle. You have the right to negotiate. In the eco discount market, you are not negotiating because the price point is fixed. If you're coming in and you're buying one kilo of rice for say six or uh, five kilo of rice for say six thousand eight hundred naira, don't forget the rice I'm bringing in is packaged. Somebody has had to buy a bag, put the rice in a bag, seal it. That comes with some additional cost yes. because I'm packaging it in a way that is dignified to you. But, but Madam Commissioner. If if I may ask, yes. I, I, I ask the government, why didn't the government go for the cheapest available vendors in Lagos in order to save costs? Because what you're saying is the government went for vendors that may have been cheap in some areas of Lagos State, but in other areas will be expensive. So why didn't government... It, I it, think it, you're it still missing seemed, the point. Yeah, because you, you mentioned price I'm points. Getting vendors, no, I'm measure, I'm getting vendors in your locality. No, I'm, I'm saying at, at, at the first... Buy from those vendors. At the first instance, why didn't you go for vendors who had the cheapest, lowest price point? So why don't you say at the first instance, are you referring to the first discount the, the, yes, edition? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because what, what do you and mean? And I mentioned yeah. something. Yes. We were trying to unify price points. Mm -hmm. If you are trying to unify price points, it means you are working with a minimum of 57 vendors for rice. You are working with a minimum of 50, sorry, 58 vendors or 59 vendors for rice, 59 vendors for bread, 59 vendors for gari, 59 vendors for eggs. Mm -hmm. List all those vendors. You are working with a minimum of, on average, 730 vendors is what you'll be working with. Tell me, how would you be able to control price points for 730 vendors in one day? It's impossible. What we adopted in week one was a hub and spoke model. Get one large wholesaler or food distributor who has the distribution network, has vehicles, has labor, and from one centralized point, they can do distribution to many of these locations. Working with a unified price point means you work with less vendors for you to be able to control pricing. Like I said, in some areas, they loved the price point. It was cheaper than what they bought in their markets. In some other locations, it didn't work. 
And we took cognizance of that, but do not forget, you are not forced to come to the discount market. If it doesn't work for you, you are not forced to buy there. Okay. Uh, um, our commissioner... You, yeah. you, so, sorry. No, so because yeah. we are still keeping or hammering on week one. We have moved past week All one. Right. We All have right. done the fourth edition on Sunday. And there have been positive feedback, okay. many positive feedback. All right. But I want you to stay on the positives and not on week one, okay. where we had lapses. It Thank was you. a pilot, and we took correction. Thank you. That, that, that's well noted. A, a listener asked a question, which for the want of time, I want to very briefly answer. He was asking about the release of uh, food items from the federal government, uh, particularly grains. Yes. Uh, he says he hasn't seen it around anywhere in Lagos. So what's happening to that in Lagos State? Very briefly. The so release of grains also takes time. Logistics is involved. So it's not that because grains have been released, don't forget it's going to 36 states plus the federal capital. So it will take a bit of time before it gets here. Mm -hmm. uh, for Lagos, I know we have started to receive some few quantities. At least we've started to receive some rice in particular. So that has started to come. But you cannot start distribution. Oh, the network has interrupted. Ah. Oh, my God. A anyway, uh, uh, you've heard from her. Um, and, of course, now she says the, the matter has been rectified. And um, they are sourcing the food items locally. So it, the price will be fixed based on the prevailing prices in your area. And government is going to make sure that that 25% discount uh, uh, is maintained. Okay, madam, are you there? Yes, I'm okay, here. Okay, the net we 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 lost you. Uh, a final word from you before you go um, to to those who are listening um, uh, to you this morning. Okay, so a final word from me is this: We are flesh and blood. As government, when we work, errors might be made, but we are flesh and blood. We are part of you. You are a part of us. We take corrections. We Oh, the network has interrupted again. Oh, my God. Okay, l let's see if we can get her back up. We'll go for a commercial because she's frozen and we'll be right back. Have you ever dreamed of creating videos that captivate and inspire? Are you in search of that perfect space where your visual ideas can flourish? Or perhaps you're on the lookout for a venue that'll add a touch of magic to your events? Look no further. At We Entertainment Production Limited, we are not just a media production company. We are your gateway to bringing visions to life. Nestled in the heart of Lake Lagos, we offer an oasis for creators like you. Whether it's TV or film production, events coverage that captures every memorable moment, commercial that resonate, breathtaking music videos, the artistry of photography, or content that engages. We have it all. Plus, with our state-of-the-art studio rentals, you're equipped with professional-grade gear from the get-go. At We Entertainment Production Limited, we believe in doing beautiful things. This is our promise to you. Get in touch today. Call us at 0908-826-5049. 0908-826-5049. Or email info at web.ng. That is, in capital letters, info at wep.ng. We Entertainment Production Limited, where beautiful things happen. This is an infomercial. Okay, uh, Madam Commissioner, a final word from you before we go. Just uh, what you were saying before we lost you. Yes, I said final word from us is, as government or as those implementing government policies, we're also flesh and blood, we're part of you, a part of us. When we implement also, there are times when there will be lapses, but hey, it's nature, it's human. Uh, but to dwell on negatives as opposed to the positives that we have seen from right. this project, All right. I think we should... Okay. I think we should also be flexible enough right. in giving a chance... Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll have you back. Keep up the great work. You're doing great. Okay. We want to commend you and encourage you. Madam Commissioner, thank you for your time this morning. Eh? He does trading himself. James, I hello. Susan, I beg. <laughs> See the wine mini. But where? You. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info.